up YouTube hope you're having a phenomenal day and for all the DJs out there I've got a review today of the art phone VNL cartridge which just released end of last year well early this year cut okay uh, my bad you're not supposed to drop needles but anyways so we're back here with art phone VNL and I have here these matched pairs which is really really cool because generally in professional audio when you have something on the production line that is back to back you should have that consistent audio quality all in all the box is cool let's get to the needle it has a slimmer profile so a lot of people compare it to the Shure M447 which is a tried and true DJ cartridge uh, I think everyone starts off using those or if not wants to use those since all the pros will be using the Shures but as you can see here, Artifone kind of stepped it up and designed it for the modern turntablist or DJ and it is compatible with portable turntables or at least they designed it to be compatible with portables. So it is a lot slimmer and should work better with portables as compared to like the heavy Shure M447. Uh, I gotta say the colorway is dope. What's great about the VNL in terms of um, value and performance is that it actually comes with three needles. So all three needles have their own sort of um, tracking force. Uh, the default one that was on the needle earlier is the rigid and we also have the flexible as well as the firm. You will see markings one, two and three. They're sort of like little red stripes on the stylus. So you can see this one is the flexible this is number one number two is on the actual cartridge itself that will be the rigid and the last one that they provide you with is the firm retail price for these are 99 us dollars or 99 euros which are on their website right now the price is astounding considering what you get in the package I mean back in the day you could only get you know one needle especially when you're buying a share m447 then you'd have to buy like a spare stylus so this is definitely something you should check out that's it for the unboxing now it's time to install these bad boys i will be installing the artifone vnl on the headache sound omni portable printable i will be replacing the stock audio technica 3600l okay Oof. Uh, tools, 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 tools. Which one? Yeah, okay, got it. And the screwdriver. One thing to note about the Ortofun VNL is that it does not come with tools, so hopefully, you still have like some lying around from your old needles. Install light speed, let's go. so here's another simple trick for you to remove the wires use a nail clipper slide them in pull them out and you should be good come on let's go good to go okay <laughs> here's the AT3600L that comes with the Omni which is really dope actually considering that it comes stock with the portable when you purchase it okay let's go time to change Nani? focus all right time to install this on the omni portable turntable let's go again gives these longer screws so let's use this
DM torn arms don't have this sort of um, like notch where you can actually know when it's actually flat or leveled so try to find something that's sort of um, flat like I got the back end of the sheer M447 screwdriver here and sort of just sort of level it with the faceplate of the turntable then you can sort of like get aligned and balanced so try to screw that in and you know check the balance again um, in terms of the levels with the screwdriver or anything that's squarish or rectangularish and that should do it if you've been watching carefully up to this point you can see that I installed the VNL flush to the back of the head shell these are standard OEM style portable head shells I'm not really sure what works but I'm just gonna put it at the back for the time being you can probably ask me in the comments and I'll answer what works best after a while now what I'll do is sort of do the forward and backward scratches without any sound just to sort of show you how the needle tracks on the vinyl and sort of sways and so forth. For the first round we're going to use the number one which is the flexible. Yep, so one strike. Let's go. Pop these in. It has this sort of um, angled slot. focus As can you see flexible is a little on the shaky side which is fine I guess it still tracks um, and it should be lighter on the vinyl uh, just from experience I guess next one we're gonna try the firm this will be number three the one with the three stripes yep there you go okay Putting these on and taking them off, the, you can see there's it's sort of angled. It's kind of cool how it's done like that. Anyways, all right. So test the f mm, focus. Testing the firm. Okay, let's go. Chicka chicka chicka. Wiki 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 wiki. Ah ah ah. Um, it looks heavy. It still tracks. Look at the needle. It's just stuck. It does look a little heavy, but one thing I'll say is it's still gonna track I mean you have to trust orthophone in every single way they've been around for how many years you know like even before I was born even before you were born probably um, okay let's test the default this is the two stripe this will be the rigid and I love this angle slot it's just so cool focus come on all right wicked 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 Chica, chica, chica. Um, hmm, it does seem to kind of sway more as compared to like the flexible. I scratched with the VNL using the number two, which the rigid, and it's good, it works. I mean, this whole system is still new to me, but you know, uh, uh, only time will tell like what will work nice or what won't burn a vinyl too fast. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I sort of um, balance the tone arm for the Omni. This should work the same if you have any portable turntable with a similar OEM tone arm. What you'll need to do is get an Allen key. There's like a Allen screw at the top of the counterweight and unscrew that. Put it to the back. Uh, put your needle on the vinyl. It, it, it's kind of standard if you've ever balanced needles on turntables. Uh, you know I've been balancing needles since like 98 probably so what, what you kind of need to do is um you don't want it to be like super low on the floor you know formula one fast and furious style you, you just kind of want it like at a good height and still see the stylus kind of spring up and down and move comfortably you'll have to play around with the counterweight uh, I, I mean the needle still new but I, I'm guessing I should probably put it somewhere in the middle you know so what I'm gonna try and do is sort of find a simple balance you know I'm gonna be OCD a little bit and I kind of want the counterweight you know like in the middle so you'll see what I'll do in a minute I'm gonna lift the camera up show you the counterweight messy okay 
focus okay so that's the screw you sort of have to you know loosen and tighten that and balance out the counterweight accordingly uh, what am I doing I can put the camera back because these are new all I can do is just find a random setting but what you can do for yourself is tinker around I mean uh, you know like there is no perfect setting because it depends on your hands and how you handle the vinyl then you got the type of needle type of turntable type of tone arm uh, you know making sure that your turntable is level on the floor you know just to make sure that your needle sticks I know th there's a bunch of things that you can do to balance things out but you know like right now what you saw me trying to do is find like a you know like a measuring tool so that I can always keep that kind of weight at the same place if you want to know my setting find a USB-C which I know most of you have put it at the back of the tone arm and sort of make it flush with the connector and you have that sort of um, measuring tool that you can always come back to somewhat like a reference point so in case you ever mess up or change needles you know you can always just come back to this setting or you can just mark it with a pen you know I mean, up to you whatever works the allen key size that you need is this 1 over 16th for the kind of weight balance that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching my little review appreciate autophon for sponsoring these needles for my scratch magazine on instagram which is at scratch my instagram i'll leave the links below in the description in the meantime if you enjoyed the video really just uh thank you so much for watching smash that like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video you know to any of your dj friends who want to buy a new needle it's a dope needle you should really get it if you have any questions just uh, drop them in the comments and i'll reply to you i'll probably post a scratch video using the vnl later on so definitely subscribe and i'll catch you later peace